Welcome back to VAC News, the video channel for industrial vacuum applications. My name is Wolfgang Wieland. Uh, today we have a Blovac Conic unit for you, which we would like to show you. Blovac Conic is a standard suction unit for bulk material. Normally, you know this from the VAC News videos, we uh, show you some uh, technical special issues, new developments or similar. Today, a standard unit, I think that is probably also interesting for you. And uh, Michael will show you in a minute how the unit works. To make the whole thing more realistic, we have a 50 meter suction line, not just the 10 meters from the truck to uh, the gravel, to the heap of gravel, which you can see here, but it's 50 meter suction line in DN 125, that is five inch, and at the end, a four inch DN 100 suction hose. So let's go and let's start the unit. The material is gone, the gravel uh, is in the blowback. Uh, that was about two, maybe 2.5 cubic meters of gravel. Um, I took the time, I stopped at the time, and it took us exactly 10 minutes to extract the two, maybe a little bit more cubic meters of material and suck them into the blowback. Um, two cubic meters in 10 minutes, that's uh, 12 cubic meters in an hour and uh, the piled weight of that material is probably around 1.5 so that means that we have a uh, suction capacity uh, conveying capacity of about 18 tons per hour taken into account that we have a suction line of 50 meters that is quite respectable i feel and uh, i think with that kind of suction power 18 tons per hour over 50 meters you can cope with most situations in most industries uh, that really is uh, a good indication that the Blovac Conic 3700, which we have behind me, is really a uh, very versatile unit which can be used in most applications in a very successful manner. The next step will be to show you how we, uh, uh, how we empty the material. We will do a tipping discharge. We will uh, take away the suction hose now, maneuver to the vehicle a little bit in order to discharge here in that area. So that will be the next step.
I would now like to show you a few details of the unit. We will start with the, the suction unit here. Let's take a look inside. And what you can see here is the diesel engine, 96 kilowatt, the belt drive which drives the vacuum pump. And above the vacuum pump you can see the safety cartridge filter. The safety filter is necessary in order to protect the vacuum pump in case uh, if the main filter should be damaged. The main filter is in the collection container and if the main filter should be damaged due to wear, uh, suction material would go, through, would go through to the vacuum pump and of course this must not happen. We must prevent material from getting into the vacuum pump and that's why we always have a safety filter in front of our vacuum pumps. Here you can see uh, the panel in order to control the unit. That's all very simple and very straightforward really not complicated. It's not a lot more than on off of the unit and RPM up and down. That's about it. Um, of course there are a number of uh, sensors in order to control dangerous or uh, uh, dangerous situations in order to protect the unit more. For example there's a, a, a temperature switch and there is level gauges of course. All this is done automatically. The operator does not need to care about that. Uh, we have here three hydraulic valves, very simple valves, in order to control the three hydraulic functions which you just saw. This is up and down of the collection container, opening and closing of the discharge door and uh, the bolts of the discharge door. Here is the suction inlet. Uh, vacuum hoses are connected here. The material will go inside the collection container towards uh, the roof of the collection container upwards and then is directed towards the rear. The material will be collected starting from the rear end of the unit building up towards the front end and the air, the transport, the conveying air has to go around and will go through the filter and is filtered before getting to the vacuum pump. Here you can see now the discharge door and uh, the uh, locks of the discharge door hydraulically operated and this unit is equipped uh, with uh, a level probe and with other equipment necessary to extract liquids that could be water or sludge or other types of liquids in order to discharge these liquids we have here a ball valve so that uh, the liquids which will be in the collection container can be discharged in a controlled manner uh, so this is not really this is not only a suction unit for uh, bulk types of bulk material but also for liquids that's it for today i hope uh, the little video was interesting for you uh, we can go home now, the job is done. Thanks a lot Michael for the good demonstration and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you at the next video.